This video explains how to operate the Megamax 42 diagnostic parameter functions. To arrive at the starting point for this video, select Diagnostics, Make of Vehicle, Fuel Type, Model and Engine Code. The diagnostic video explains the vehicle selection process in more detail. There are six diagnostic functions available on the selected vehicle. Highlight Parameters and press Enter to confirm. On the selected vehicle, parameter information is available for eight control units. Engine, ABS, Airbag, Air Conditioning, Comfort, Gearbox, Theft Warning System and Steering. The selection and display process is the same for each control unit. In this example, the engine control unit will be used. Highlight engine and press enter. This vehicle's engine has a TDCI CAN system. Select and press enter. A help message will show the vehicle's battery voltage. The battery voltage should be indicated in green text. If the voltage is OK, press enter. The unit will then confirm that communications is being established and a list of parameters will then be displayed. This information will vary according to the make and model of the vehicle being repaired. The first four parameters are selected as a default. To deselect a parameter, highlight it and press enter. This will remove the black dot indicator on the left of the screen. To reselect, highlight the parameter, press enter and the black dot will be reinstated. In this example, Eight parameters will be selected by scrolling through the selections available. When the fifth parameter is selected, a message will advise that the results will only be displayed in text format and not graphically, and the results will not be saved in the diagnostic folder. Press Enter to confirm the message. Press Escape to view the results, some of which will only display correctly if the engine is running. If required, the results can be printed by pressing F2. To change the parameter selection, press F3 and press Enter on all parameters to re-display the list. Up to four parameters can be displayed graphically, and to illustrate this, Four parameters that are not required are deselected using the process explained earlier. Press Escape to view the results. This process may take a few moments to complete. and if required, the results can be printed by pressing F2. By pressing F1, the Channel Info menu will be displayed. Highlight a specific parameter and press Enter to display more information. Press Escape to return to the Channel Info menu. When all the parameter information has been read, press Escape to return to the graphical display. When all the required parameters have been read, press Escape and the license number, i.e. the registration number and VIN box, will be displayed. For some vehicles, the VIN number will be pre-populated as a result of the scan. If required, the VIN number can be recorded using the same functions as the license number to be explained shortly. Highlight license number and press enter. License numbers for previously recorded vehicles will be displayed. Select the license number 
or if the vehicle is being worked on for the first time, press enter. A license plate number box will be displayed and the taskbar now indicates that the up arrow selects a keypad. Press the up arrow to display alpha characters and use the arrow keys to highlight each character in turn and press enter to select. To select numeric characters, press F2 and use the arrow keys to highlight each character and press enter to select. Press F2 twice to reselect alpha characters and use the arrow keys to highlight each character and press enter to select. When the license number has been completed, press escape then enter and press F1 to accept the license number. The vehicle information has now been saved in the Mega Max 42 and can be retrieved later from the diagnostic folder. Press escape to return to the main menu and switch off the Mega Max 42. Switch off the vehicle ignition and disconnect the OBD2 lead from the vehicle.